Good morning, guys. Um, it's about 6.35. I just have Jaina and Lucy to get up this morning. Um, and he doesn't have therapy today. So, I, when I when she doesn't have therapy, I try to give the other two a little bit. No more time. Sleep in. Um, I'm out. I'm at my door. Scaring the neighbors, as usual. Um, have my coffee, of course. Um, our high school was on lockdown yesterday, guys. Not even joking. Some former student decided to um, threaten the school. I guess he had guns at his house or something. They had like the SWAT team and everything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I don't have kids there now, but my stepdaughters and my sister went to that school. And that's the school I'm hoping my kids will go to, and my mother doesn't live too far from that school. So, like, we could walk to the school from our house. So anything that, you know, that goes down at the school, I kind of sort of worry about my mom because she doesn't live too far away at all. But nobody was injured, nobody was hurt. Um, I caught the student. It was just um, really weird because school was on lockdown for like from three to five and they had all the students congregated in one area so they could, you know, go find the kid or, you know, do their thing. But it was pretty, it was pretty scary for a while. Like imagine being a parent and getting that phone call that, that your kid's school is on lockdown. You know, I mean, that would scare the shit out of me. <laughs> part of my French, but I would be, I would be one of those parents, you know, that would drive over there and go, you know, go find my kid. <laughs> Imagine being the parent of a special needs child in that situation, like literally, like what would you do? Like, would your kid be mature enough to understand that situation? I mean, those are the kind of weird scenarios that I think about with Lucy and Annie because I'm pretty sure Lucy has the mentality to understand but you can't keep her confined for so long you know what i mean it's like if her school ever gets on lockdown she won't be able to function because she needs you know space she needs you know to see through the doors and see through the windows and you know to see her escape that's gonna be completely crazy hopefully none of that ever happens but us special needs parents man we think of every worst scenario ever man i'm not even man. <laughs> What are you eating? Yogurt. Yogurt? What is it called? Nogurt. Nogurt? Yeah. Is it nogurt or yogurt? Nogurt. <laughs> what is it you want? Nogurt. I want nogurt. You want more nogurt? Yes. Didn't you already have some? No. Yes. No. Yes, you did. No, no. <laughs> you want some more? Do you want more? Well, yeah, how yeah. can you have more if you never had any? Huh? What do you want? I want no good. You want no good? Yeah, 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 no. Your face is dirty. Your face is dirty. I need a bath. You need a bath. <laughs> Hi, guys. I have tried three times to complete my vlog for the day. Um, first, I went to my bedroom and got comfortable. Um, Annie was jumping all over the bed. Um, <clears throat> I went to the bathroom to film there. Annie followed me, started banging on the door. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. Um, I don't mind my kids being in my videos because that's, you know, why I started my channel. But sometimes we just have to have, you know, a little parent time, a little adult chit chat. So, I was trying to film all of this earlier. It didn't pan out. So, I'm picking up the kids, hoping it works out this time. It looks like storms are trying to move in and build up. And I also got called in to work tonight because somebody left doesn't matter more money in my pocket more hours I'm trying to save up for a couple of things so it's all good on my end you know um, somebody left a comment I think it was yesterday somebody commented that I look tired and yeah I am tired but it's more of a 
it's more of a mental exhaustion than a physical exhaustion because I don't physically tire all that easy. Um, I'm used to bouncing around all over the place. I'm used to doing all the kids' stuff. Um, I'm not emotionally tired. I'm not physically tired. It's more of a, a mental wear on you because it does wear on you from time to time. And in me, it causes like high levels of anxiety sometimes. And some days I just don't want to deal with it because I'm just so tired in here. And being a parent, especially if you have, especially if you have special needs kids, it, it can be mentally, mentally challenging. But um, so far, it's so far our, our past couple of days have been really good. Minus that incident you saw yesterday with Annie in her head. Um, and the other day when Lucy got sick. All that is actually pretty common. We haven't had an extreme bad day in quite a while. And I probably just jinxed ourselves. But it is really hot. I, I can't even... It is like crazy hot. I've got the air on. and But it makes it muggy really. And so i got to let my windows down and have the air on. Just, just, just let the breeze come through. I know I probably shouldn't be doing this, but dang, man. Whew. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I am kind of tired, but it's just usually in here. When I, well, when I say I'm exhausted, it's just usually in my mind. And not physically or emotionally, because I can run all day. I can chug down coffee and run all day. It doesn't mean anything to me, because I'm so used to it. You know, get it done. No problem. Um, and here, I'm just so mentally exhausted because I have to constantly think ahead. I have to constantly think about what needs done next. I have to constantly remember who I have to call, who I have to talk to, what doctor we're going to see, what teacher am I going to see, um, you know, when I have to go into work, what you, what what do my kids need, you know, it's, it's a constant, constant, my mind is constantly going because they need so much done all the time. Woo, I probably just wore myself out just talking about it. But, um, oh, I'm hungry too. Maybe I can snack something before I go to work. Um, but I wasn't supposed to work today. Now I do, but it's all good. No big deal. Um, some of these people over here driving, they've been throwing back a few. You guys okay over there? Okay, just checking. Wow. Um, the way these people drive, and I mentioned it um, the other day, the way these people drive, man, I know we're in the NAS, I know we're in the NASCAR state, but take it down a notch, please. Wow. Um, my kids are going to get out in a few, they've got popsicles waiting. Back at home, I ran to the store, I grabbed some popsicles, like one of these huge boxes for like $2. Um, bringing them back home because I didn't want them to leak in my car. Um, they should be ready by the time my, my kids get home. So, I'm really hungry. Oh. Um, so, I'm going to snag my babies, get home. Lucy has a spelling test tomorrow, so she has to study her words. She has a spelling test every Friday. So, Thursday night is when we study. She studies all week long. But, by Thursday night, she actually knows it pretty well. So, my husband has that to do. Usually I'm the one who does it, but he has that to do since I have to work tonight. So I'm going to grab my babies and get home and go to work. It's not going to be for long. It's only for a couple hours. So I will see you guys then. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.